A part of this project is sponsored by PCBWay. More on that later. Hey guys, this is Sam from the Control Poster Shop and in today's video I will uh, show you a little something uh, we invented uh, to fix the Z-wobbling on machine with ball screws. Uh, I will try to do my best to explain uh, the concept around it and show you numbers but please note that uh, this is the first version and it's still in development and exploration. First, uh, I want to address uh, the potential problem we have on our machine, the Prometheus, and what is the available solution. Fixing uh, the wobbling on the screw or ball screw uh, is far from being new and it exists already a lot of options on the market right now. Uh, the first possibility obviously is uh, to buy a more precise ball screw but we all know uh, that it comes with a, a large price. The, the second thing everybody was proposing, proposing us uh, is the Wobolex. You can go check Mirage C YouTube channel uh, where he show in detail the concept uh, and uh, uh, it, it, it works pretty well. <laughs> but unfortunately, uh, this simple design uh, is not compatible with, with our machine. Uh, a machine like the Prometheus without big modification because this rely uh, on the gravity. I saw a video from uh, the YouTube channel SLS4 that has pretty much uh, the same issue as us uh, and I have been able to tweak the design for uh, to fit his machine. Which I really like but the problem is that it was designed for the FDM printers and the Boblex principle depends on gravity which I can't depend here because I need to be tight in both directions, up and down, up and down, because there is the main friction in between uh, sealing uh, of the print chamber and powder chamber. The second thing people will recommend is the old end coupling. Uh, maybe it will work, but for me, if component, components need to move, there is gap, and if there is gap, uh, there, is, there is backlash, and we really don't want uh, that uh, on the precise machine. So, uh, what's the plan? <laughs> we need we need something uh, that is flexible in y and uh, x direction uh, to eliminate the z wobbling. Because resin printer have uh, forces in both direction in in z, uh, it need to be rigid in that direction. Uh, I, I don't want to modify the CAD, so something universal. And finally, something without any backlash would be very great. Um, compliant mechanism. <laughs> I, I'm far from being an engineer, and in fact, I'm, a, I'm an artist. Uh, but this is what I, I I come up with. As you can see, here is the CAD model of the device. Like I said, we wanted to have something universal, so it shall not require adapters or remodeling. We didn't know what would be the best solution for it between making it separate pieces like this or all in one. What we have tested in this video is SLS printed because of that in intricate geometry. I don't think there is a lot manufacturing process that will make this possible. When PCBWay heard of this project, they've been kind enough to make the part for us so they can show us their services and the quality of them. I usually use their PCB services, but it was the first time I tried their 3D print and CNC manufacturing services and we were very pleased. Everything did go smoothly and at very reasonable price too. We highly recommend them for your next project. So here, I've printed the 200% scale model to feel and understand this concept. The two silver parts represent the two machine aluminum parts. As we can see in the cross-section view, they are not fixed together. Only the middle insert part is fixed to them. I printed the insert in TPE, so it's more flexible for the print model. For the real parts, we, we printed them in PA12 nylon, but we might try and investigate other materials in the future. This model helps us visualize the flexibility in X and Y using the compliant mechanism, 
but stay stiff in Z direction. So I ordered two versions of it because I didn't know which shading would be best for compliant mechanism and if it would be printable. But for those who want to make or order some, I suggest the all printed version because it's cheaper and it doesn't need to be in metal. All the files will be available for free or you will be able to order them soon on our web store when we will settle on a final design. I promised you number and there they are. Please note that I did my best with the camera angle and what seems logical to me to measure. Here I measured the ball screw wobble and I saw 0.5 of a millimeter or 500 micron at worst. And that's bad. Here are more concrete measurements and it's the movement transfer to the printer arm. I saw about 80 micron at worst. To be honest, after seeing those results, I wasn't sure how well the device would work, but I was pretty surprised. The first measurement I took is how well the dampening is. With the travel of the nut, then I saw pretty much the 80 micron we measured earlier. That means that a lot of the movement is absorbed. To confirm that, I finally measured the movement induced in the printer arm and I only saw at worst 15 microns. That's a reduction of more than 80%. Here are the results before putting the device. We could see a faint pattern that resembled a lead screw. It wasn't that bad because we only see that on straight and smooth surfaces. Here is the result after. On the left, the new test. We can easily see that the surface is way smoother and the screw pattern is less pronounced. In my book, this is a success. Thank you so much guys for watching and thanks PCBWay for sponsoring the manufacturing of this project. If you are interested, don't forget to look at the links below to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments how we should call this new device. See you soon! Thank <laughs> you.